we are looking at efm8 pcb starter kit board so this is a 8 bit microcontroller board from silicon lab and you see here which we are pointing out this is the main microcontroller for this board which is efm8 pp1 so we'll be posting the links for this uh, microcontroller in the description of this video and we'll also talk about it in the future videos if we see the features of this board starting from the left use you, you have a usb type c connector and this type c connector can be used to power the board so if you want to power up the board this is where you have to plug in and this is also a debugger port so the specialty of this board is if you want to debug the efm8 uh, bb51 microcontroller you need not uh, power up you need not have an external debugger the internal uh, the board itself has a debugger um, and uh, you can use usb type c with your microcontroller and simplicity studio to debug the microcontroller directly and then if we come down we have a holder which which uh, can be used to power up the board this uh, is a holder for our bat coin cell battery which we use for electronic devices and then below that there are two pins if you see here uh, so these two pins um, are basically uh, the pins which can be used to uh, power up the uh, board using two wires so that also can be used and <coughs> you can also use an external battery like a lithium battery to power up this board so if you see there are three options one is powering the board through usb type c powering the board through rtc coin cell or uh, cr2032 is the common coin cell or powering up the board using the two pins using lab power supply or external lithium coin cell so if you are using usb type c this button whatever is here should be towards the aem mode if you are powering up the board using the battery the <coughs> button should be towards the bat mode so remember that and then the microcontroller pins are pulled to uh, the uh, breakout headers you can see the holes on the top and the bottom so these two holes are the pins uh, have pins uh, pulled out so if you look at the schematic of this uh, board you you get to know which pins are pulled and also there is an indication sill screen on the board to show what pins are pulled okay and then in the center you see something called display so this is a tft lcd which is controlled using spa interface from the microcontroller so you can play around with the display on this board and below the display you have two buttons button zero button one these are normal user buttons uh, which can be used with the microcontroller and then beside that you have a led uh, which is uh, which is uh, uh, a rgb led and this rgb led um, can be used uh, you can you can play around with this rgb led uh, and this rgb led is connected to the microcontroller and then to the right of it you have joystick so joystick is like playing games you use joystick right so you can design your own games or uh, you can play around with this joystick connected to the microcontroller and control the things on the LCD. So you can you can do different things. And beside that, there is a reset button. So this reset button can be used to reset the microcontroller. So that's uh, another option um, where you can reset the microcontroller to bring it to the known state. And we will talk about this reset in the future videos. Um, and Apart from this, on the top right, you have two connectors, debug and simplicity. So these two connectors can be used to debug <coughs> the microcontroller using external debugger or debug um, the external boards using the debugger on this board. So this we will talk about uh, 
uh, in further videos it might be confusing for you at this point and then on the right you have a connector um, a bark stick right angle bark stick connector <coughs> which uh, uh, can be used to connect the expansion boards from um, the uh, silicon labs so we have uh, so we have option to connect uh, these expansion boards and extend the functionality of this board so you can design your own expansion board and then use it for your functionality so and then you underneath the display underneath the display you have circuitry of the debugger so this debugger circuitry uh, as a designer uh, you need you need not uh, know or test this because that's a standard circuitry so for a user of the starter kit what is important is the are the peripherals that are connected and the breakout connections which are going out so what is the first thing you need is uh, you need a usb type c cable to power up the board in the next videos we will talk in sequence of how to power up the board and uh, how to use the simplicity studio to detect the board and then program the board with the examples in this video it's more of a hardware description and if you see on the left and right of this display you have circuits uh, so <clears throat> display left and right you have circuits so um, basically these are uh, uh, the components that are supportive to the uh, debug section so for now uh, you can um, you need not know these circuitry because these are more of uh, uh, the functionalities that are associated with the debug related things and on the top towards the right side of usb type c connector you have the main regulator for this board so when you power up the board there is a led below that which should power up which should glow once you power up the board using the type c connector and remember that this is a 8 bit microcontroller board which uh, actually is a series of controllers from silicon labs which comes under efm8 busy b if you see the name is efm 8 bb1 bb stands for busy b busy b is a series of controllers from uh, um, silicon labs and uh, this is a 8051 core microcontroller and 8 bit controller so we will talk about the features of the microcontroller in the next videos and um, <clears throat> apart from this if we turn the uh, board to the back side if we turn the board to the back side you can see here there's a connector okay there's a connector which can be there is a um, connector here which is a adc input so this 8-bit microcontroller also has adc feature so we'll talk about the features of microcontroller uh, in the next video uh, but just to point out this is where you can give your adc input and then apart from this you have uh, the <coughs> connectivity mentioned the silk on the board to see what are the pins that are extended out to the expansion board so this is a brief introduction we will talk about the microcontroller features how they are connected and other things in next videos we will also post the links to data sheets reference manual schematic in the description of this video please have a look please post if you have any questions thank you